Fox News has reported that Montgomery County, Maryland's wealthiest school district, has unveiled a new LGBTQ inclusive book list for elementary schools that teaches words like intersex and drag queen to children in pre-K and as young as four years of age. Mark, over the past two years, we've seen uprisings. We saw them in Virginia, which resulted in the election of Governor Yunkin. And they parents who have uh, questioned what is being taught in public schools. Recently in Dearborn, Michigan, the Islamic community complained and pushed back against the inclusion of LGBT uh, learning plans in school lessons by stating, keep your dirty books in the closet. And they were successful in getting those plans overturned. Do Montgomery County parents really know what is being taught in the MCPS schools? Well, I think there's the, the other half to what the, your question, it really in over the last two years is, is post COVID. And uh, part of, and not just Montgomery County, but across the country, parents are frustrated with education and they're frustrated with what they saw during COVID when they were more exposed to the curriculum. And they're also frustrated with the results. Um, we've had an educational catastrophe over the last two and a half years as a result of COVID, but also as a result of the shutdown in education. Uh, and um, there's a great deal of frustration. And I think this particular curriculum issue feeds into that because while we've had this decline in results of education, educators appear to be not focusing on addressing what are serious challenges but instead focused on, on a, you know, a more of a uh, sort of a social, uh, social issue agenda. So, so I Nancy, took the, Nancy, I that took kind the of liberty. Is the summary question is, why can't we just get back to teaching regular reading, writing, and arithmetic? Because our tests so I, for 20 years have been declining. It's not just a post COVID issue. Well, I don't disagree with that fundamental priority. Uh, but have you actually looked at what you're talking about? I have a guest here, if I can wake him up. Here we go. This is my puppy. Uh -huh. And the book is called Pride Puppy. The book is an ABC rhyming book about a lost puppy. Now, Jock here is very interested in that story, as I suspect a lot of kindergartners might be. The other books they have on the agenda are B Uncle Bobby's Wedding, um, My Rainbow, Prince and Knight. You know, these are all books about reality. I don't know about you, I have uh, gay relatives. There are gay people who have children and they are in the school system. This is just the reality that exists. And it's, you know, it's just, and, and I don't think they're teaching this, these are just, these are just books that are in the well, system. Nancy, the question, it's not a question of whether, whether you know, it's being spoken of in, in, in the schools, but at what age? I, don't, I just don't think it's appropriate for children ages at age four to be, to be exposed to this. Uh, you know, there's, yeah. there's, we all learn, we all grow at a, we all grow at a different level. We've all seen, you know, what our children pro proclivities are. It's not that we're, we're against them. It's a question of whether it's appropriate for the schools to be teaching them. Well, remember, these are just books. These are, a, this one's an ABC book about a puppy for, for Lord's sake. I mean, I don't think that's anything more than that. And it's just the background of the book like many books out there, you know, um, and I don't think it's especially a teaching tool. It's a reality check for certain uh, families, perhaps, but I don't think that's the issue. The issue is, are we going to find Jock at the end of the day and learn the alphabet at the same time? And well, I think those are the kinds of questions that, that, the that library, play into I don't think anyone would How do we teach reality? to kids in the reality in which they exist, which may not be the reality that the three of us inhabit. Well, but that I think is if an interesting- Except it, that, you know? It, if I say it, it's an interesting question in, in that I think it, it underscores the fact that a kind of the factory model of one size fits all across education that the, you know the, the, everybody should be taught the exact same way, that's broken down. And I think what we have is an educational system that hasn't caught up with that and provide a range of choices and a range of opportunities. And again, address a range of learning styles. 
Um, and increasingly, you know, this is MCPS is not in, in, in state education has not caught up with that reality of, of those differences. You're and focusing you on you one little bit played. of the curriculum and the reading experience for these children. Every school is going to have a library. Every classroom for kids this age is going to have a variety of choices and stories that are going to be told. And that's just a fact. It just is part of the background of life. And I think that's the challenge for people like a, of a certain age, may be so bold as to suggest, that grew up in the Dick and Jane rule, like I did. We're not that way. Families are not that way anymore. And, you know, things are different now. And that's okay. But I don't think the, the books themselves are being designed to teach something, but simply to reflect a reality that our children are living in. Well, Nancy, you're going to have you're going to have the last word. MCM's party with a purpose. Mix and mingle with the new majority women county council members and other leaders making a difference. MC by NBC4's Sean Yancey, November 30th at the Silver Spring Civic Center. Go to mymcmedia.org for tickets.